Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, Pauline, how are you doing? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing great. Um, I'm kind of stuck with the assignment Mr. Asari gave us. Um, do you have any idea about question number two? Can you help me out? Mm, okay, I've not actually done it. I'm now trying to figure something out. So maybe when I do something, then I'll, I'm going to let you know. What's up, guys? Hope you're doing great. This is Kobe Shots. And in today's video, we're going to look at how we can easily achieve the phone voice effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Yet, this particular effect can be achieved in any other kind of video editing software such as sony vegas or final cut pro i have for this particular video a scene that i shot and i had my character speak on phone so it's going to be a phone dialogue from which you're going to select some particular portions of the dialogue and transform them into making them sound like as it was coming from the phone so without much ado let us head on to adobe premiere pro and start with the tutorial all right welcome to adobe premiere pro and i hope you enjoyed the short sequence so let us quickly look at the timeline and this is exactly how i arranged the shots of the sequence and you notice over here that i have muted one of the audio um, on the deck i've actually duplicated them so that uh, we can have one muted and you know after the effect has been put on one of the audio decks you're going to notice how the difference is and you're going to experience the before and after that's the reason why i just duplicated the audio onto another deck and i've muted it so that it doesn't interfere with the tutorial to the first listening of the audio for the tutorial okay so the first thing that we quickly have to do is to go all the way to effects and once we click on effects you're going to type in high and uh, we're going to have several other options over here but what we are going to pick is high pass and we're going to drag it all the way onto this particular audio and um, i used a different microphone to record the other voice on the other side so that you could experience it purely because um, what i noticed was that the audio from the actor's voice was kind of distant on the sound that was coming from the phone and for that reason i had to record it separately the very same response to the dialogue i recorded it separately with a different microphone so that you could actually hear it clearly and that's what we're going to be using for this tutorial all right so with the high pass filter put on the audio let's listen to how it sounds yeah. all right so you notice that the Audio sounds just like it's coming from a phone, but it's actually suppressing the voice and what the voice is saying. So what we're going to do is to click on effects controls and we are going to find um, where the audio high pass filter has been put on the audio. So I'm going to click on the audio that we put the high pass filter on and we are going to move straight to cut off where we're going to find 1495.0 hertz which we are going to change from any value from 400 to 700 and these values are what i've noticed works best for any voice but for this tutorial's sake let us start from 400 and listen to how it sounds at 400 yeah yeah Pauline, how are all right you? so you notice that there's a change immediately Hello. with 400 and uh it doesn't sound best i still hear a little bit of bass in my voice which means that um the effect or the value of the cutoff isn't enough so we're going to change it from 400 to 700 and uh we're going to listen to how it sounds hello yeah yeah Pauline. all right and i just I just feel like this is just right for it. So that's exactly how you can change an audio, any audio whatsoever to make it sound as if it is coming from a phone. Let us also put the high pass filter right on the actor's voice as well so that you notice that it actually works on any audio that you can place this on. So I'm going to, um, because she's a female and she doesn't have or doesn't necessarily have bass in her voice, I'm going to keep it at, let's say, 500 and uh, let's listen to how it sounds. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you notice that there's a change and it actually works on any audio. So let us, um, you know, um, cancel out the high pass filter of her voice. Yeah. All right, and make sure that it is back to how it was supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to zoom out and make sure that this effect or the high pass effect is placed on 
every other audio or every audio of the voice on the other side of the phone all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select high pass but first of all make sure that the right or the audio that has the high pass filter is activated so i can see its values or its effects that it has um over here in the audio effect so i'm going to select high pass control c to copy so i'm going to drag over the rest of the audio and i'm going to hit control v to paste or apply it on all the rest of the audio of the voice that's on the other side of the phone so let's quickly listen to it and make sure that everything is consistent throughout hello hello yeah yeah Pauline, how are you doing i'm fine and you i'm doing great um i'm kind of stuck with the assignment mr sari gave us do you have any idea about question number two can you help me out and so yeah that's how you achieve a phone voice effect in adobe premiere pro and you can use this in your documentaries or in your next short film any project that involves having a phone and making it sound as if it is actually coming from a phone you can achieve this particular effect using these steps in adobe premiere pro just as i said earlier you can also achieve this in other various editing softwares sony vegas as well as final cut pro Thank you very much for watching this video to this very end and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do especially if you're new because i have a lot more other goodies tutorials and all kinds of videos that i'm sure you're going to enjoy coming up on my channel and turn on the post notification button to be notified anytime i release or upload any video onto my youtube channel until the next video have a wonderful day see ya